Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Justin here from Blue Collar Survival, and uh, coming at you guys with another, just a different kind of video. I actually got this the idea for this video from uh, another channel, Baz on Baz on Blades. I'll talk to you more about him later. But what it is is it's a it's the hundred and fifty dollar knife challenge, and basically what it is is they want you to uh, build a collection of knives that you would be you know basically comfortable carrying around and this and that and if you only had hundred fifty dollars to get uh, the knives what you would buy so this is my hundred fifty dollar knife challenge so we will go ahead and we'll start off I'm gonna start off with well my workhorse so we have the K-Bar uh, 1211 fighting knife and uh, yeah this I mean I believe 66 bucks for this and I'll we'll just tally it down as we go but uh, this knife I really like I mean as you can see it's already gotten some some use and stuff but I really do like this knife it's a tough knife so that's gonna be my uh, my number one is we'll go ahead and go with the work knife uh, for the heavy duty stuff when you're out in the bush or something like that um, the second one we're gonna go ahead and go with another fixed blade actually we'll wait on that one let's go this let's go this way so a multi-tool multi-tool is something I'd want to take with me if I had to run you know like I said this is the I don't know maybe these are the only five knives you can get and or however many it is that you can get for $150 so um, I really like this little guy here um, this is the Leatherman Juice S2, and I'll actually be doing a review on this uh, a little bit later, so I won't get into it too much. But, I mean, it's got basically everything you need, I mean, for just an emergency situation or something. So, I mean, plenty enough. You know, I wanted a multi-tool. I was trying to think. You know, I had my Leatherman Wave, but that would have taken up a majority of my budget. I think the, the Leatherman Wave runs right around anywhere I think it fluctuates from around seventy five to ninety dollars depending on where you get it at so yeah there goes a huge chunk this one only runs you forty bucks so I got myself at hundred and six so far with two blades um, now we're gonna go ahead I get I've gotten good feedback from people and very negative feedback from people this is the Ganzo Firebird F7536 or 7563 I'm sorry and it's kind of a kind of a benchmade 940 knockoff and uh, this is the one I actually abuse tests on my uh, other video and as you can see the thing held up I mean I have nothing there's no marks on the back of the knife a uh, little paint missing and stuff like that like I said we uh, bent the tip I got that back now but we bent the tip when uh, when I was doing the tip test but it's a $15 knife so and it, it's proven itself uh, like I said I get a lot of a lot of gruff from people about it saying that their 440 sucks and this and that I mean I didn't actually after that abuse test um, I didn't even taken it to the sharpener I just used my honing rod and uh, it's fine you know it cuts through paper and stuff now but yeah $15 knife it's a solid blade I mean this is something that you know, I don't know why people get so much gruff. It's a $15 blade. You know, you can throw it in a toolbox or your pocket and go do hard stuff with it. Because, you know, like the, I, I love the Spyderco uh, Paramilitary 2. But I'm so scared that, you know, to beat on something like that. Because, you know, the price point of it, you know. Something like that I just don't want to beat on. This is a $15 knife. It's solid. It's proven itself in the test. It's easy to sharpen. And if I lose it, I'm not going to be pissed. All right, so now we'll go to the next fixed blade, and we will do the Mora Basic 511. Moras are just good all-around little work knives, and this one is actually the high carbon. I just preferred the high carbon to to the uh, stainless, but I mean, perfect for any kind of bushcraft, uh, fire starting stuff like that. This, and I mean, food prep even too. That thing is actually pretty darn good at some food prep. So it's a pretty good all-around knife. I mean, not super heavy-duty use. Is, I mean, it's not very thick. But definitely, like I said, everybody should own a Mora. I don't know how you couldn't because 
things are cheap as crap. This is a nine dollar knife, nine bucks, and I mean they're they're world renowned. They're very respected. They're highly spoken of, and they're just they're just great all around knives. So what have we got so far? This was sixty six. We got forty. It's one oh six. This brings us to this one's fifteen. So that's one twenty one. Nine dollars or one thirty. It gives me twenty dollars left. And this one, th this in particular one I have. I can't find for the price, but they do have in different colors uh, this knife here for, for $18. And that would be the Ontario Rat 1. I love this knife. I absolutely love it. This is one of the most solid folders that I have ever owned. And I, if this thing doesn't get picked up in my giveaway, which ends tomorrow, if this does not get picked up in my giveaway, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to keep this knife and I don't really care what anybody says. I will carry a pink knife because I love this. I love this knife. It is so solid and sturdy and I just really like it. So, I got myself five knives. $148. I got $2 left. I can pick myself up a pop on the store while I'm uh, moseying on down the road with my knives. So yeah, I thought that was a pretty cool challenge when I seen that uh, on uh, the other channel. Like I said, uh, Baz on Blades is where I seen that uh, challenge at. He got it from another guy. And uh, Baz on Blades, you guys should really go over and uh, check out his uh, his channel. He's got a ton of reviews. I mean, the guy posts constantly. He's got. I mean, he's putting new content out all the time. And I mean, his knives and it's knives, axes, guns. I mean, it fluctuates from price range as well. He goes from the low end to the high end. Uh, He's a southern boy like I am, like I was talking to him earlier. Unfortunately, I no longer have my southern accent whatsoever. I've lived in Minnesota for 15 years, so yeah, sure, you betcha. You know how it goes. But yeah, Baz on Blades, he's got a really cool channel. You guys should really go over and check that out. You know, give him a subscribe. He gave me a real nice shout out uh, on his last video. And the guy's good, man. I mean, he's he's... You know, go over his channel, actually, and he's having a background issue right now, like, where he lays his knives. You know, why don't my subscribers, why don't you guys shoot over there and maybe throw him some ideas on a, on a background on his newest video. Say, hey, you know, Blue Collar told me, you know, or Justin sent me over here and said, leave a comment for what I think you should use for a background. So, yeah, definitely check his channel out. He's a really cool guy. He's, like I said, he's got tons of content, and he puts out tons of content, so... That's where I got this idea from, and uh, I thought it was pretty cool. So five nice for $148, and uh, I mean, a pretty solid lineup, I do believe. But yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think, and uh, you know, leave a comment down below if uh, if you have uh, uh, five knives that are around $150 that you think would be a good one to carry or something like that. And but uh, anyway, this is Justin from Blue Collar Survival. You guys be safe.